and Sports Center. We are Acadiana's local sports leader. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, week four of the high school football season kicking off. Barb coming to Southside playing the Sharks at Turlings Rebel Field. Sharks head coach Josh Fontenot looking snazzy. Nice hat there, coach. And, well, Southside forcing a Barb punt on their first drive. Gavin Gill scoops up the block punt and scores and does the gritty. How about that? Nice move, 7 0 Sharks. Barb's next possession. Quarterback Will McLean. Oh, the play action fake fakes me out, and then he throws to junior wideout Jamal Levy, who goes 65 yards for the touchdown, and we are tied at seven. But on the ensuing kickoff, never good when you say that for the other team. Jaden doing some work as Mr. Jaden decides to juke the kicker, and he is gone to the house, to the end zone, to the crib. Southside opens District 3-5A play with a 45, a 42-35 win over Barb. St. Martinville against Westgate with icy white unis at home. Late, late second quarter, Jordan Doucette connects with Der Diedrich Lachele for the Westgate touchdown. The band getting hyped up in the third. St. Martinville answers with Tanner Harrison calling his own number, taking it in for, well, a touchdown there. As we check the final in this one, 39 21, your final in that one, Westgate with the victory over St. Martinville. One of the biggest matchups on Friday night will take place here in Lafayette at Turling's Rebel Field. Turling's hosting Notre Dame. It's our game of the week. The Rebels will enter the contest with the Sterling 3 0 record and some solid quarterback play from sophomore Preston Welsh. That, along with a defensive performance allowing just 52 points in three games while outscoring their opponents with 128 points. Another test looms Friday as Notre Dame comes a calling from Crowley. Terling's head coach, Dane Chipanche, says following the preparation process, key to the Rebels' success. We have a good process in place and uh, we have a process that has worked for us so far. So I think you don't want to get into that deal where you're, you're treating it a whole lot differently and doing different things. and. You know, the kids can sense that, so we're trying to be business as usual, and we just got to do what we do and do it a lot better. From Tigers to Tigers, as we go back to high school football, action from Thursday night, Catholic, New Iberia, and Delcom first quarter, Ethan Ford powers it into the end zone like an F-150 platinum edition, giving Catholic first blood. Later in the second, John Chavon. Runs it in for himself, 14-0 lead. You'd think Catholic could hold on to that lead, but Delcom comes back, forces overtime, and wins. 21-14 is your final. All right, college.